And here we are in virtual reality. Now, virtual reality offers a unique perspective into your project by allowing you to see full depth and scale of your building projects and experience it in a way that it might be to actually stand within it. We can fly over and enter and then plant ourselves in any location set up to our appropriate height and get a look around. Now, this doesn't require any special training. It's intuitive to anybody. Simply put on the headset and look around. And when you do, you can actually experience what it might be like to stand there. You can see how far away that wall is. You can feel the size of the room that you're in. Is this hallway wide enough? Is it too cramped? Is there enough lighting? Does this feel like a space that you want to be in? It's a unique perspective that allows you to generate some excitement about your project and also drive engagement for your users. But just because it's a unique perspective doesn't mean it lacks any of the functionality that we've already seen. All of the other standard selections, like getting the BIM data for any of the objects you'd like to select, or the ability to filter on objects like doors or ceilings, or potentially hiding things like the furniture to get a cleaner view all these things are still available, as, long as, well as, as well as our white carding and getting our lighting data in. And of course, the sun study to get a sense of what the natural light might be like once you're actually inside your building. At any point, you can move to any location and view it from your own vantage point or teleport around at your leisure. Or if you're so inclined, to fly up and get a bird's eye view from any angle. 